We have a new Dark King, and it's this. It's a Porsche. Well, not really a Porsche, because we don't have a Porsche. Well, even though they've let go of their Porsche license after 56 years, uh, EA has, has yet to relinquish Porsche entirely. I don't know why. But we have this here. Is it a Porsche, but not really a Porsche. The car, the R Rough RT35, and I'm going to buy it, because what I've heard is that it's really good at dirt racing. My means to buying this is to um, find something out in terms of bikes. Are they OP or not? Because people have been complaining that uh, bikes are really OP. They can't really win um, many races when they're up against, you know, uh, other people uh, riding bikes like the KTM 450 or uh, in dirt or, or raid or anything. But I beg to differ only because I've raced against bikes in street per in all pretty much all aspects where bikes are available. And the only a real big threat in street and dirt, but still I think you can still have your way with them. This is actually the first real supercar that's received an actual dirt uh spec conversion. It really has not any other supercar in this game. Well it plus based it under supercar but it's got a lot of power and everything, more than uh, the SVT Raptor. It's lighter than the SVT Raptor. And so mostly it's quicker than the SVT Raptor, even though I haven't really maxed her out all the way. Uh, no exotic, no vintage. Off-road, no racing, no racing. Just racing one. Put those on then. Uh-uh. Carbon fiber. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. This thing looks nothing like a dirt track car, because if you if you're observant to uh, Porsche's dirt history, the last time they were actually went like legit dirt racing was back in the 80s with the 959. I mean, there have been 911 GT3s like on like during rallies, but not on dirt. Actually, doing on like a Pikes on Pikes Peak Road. Or um, I think, yeah, Isle of Man. Hasn't really any been any like real Porsche on actual dirt since like a long, long time. And this isn't even really a Porsche. This is a rough. And you haven't seen rough dirt racing either. So this is actually a brave move right now that uh, Ubisoft has done. But it's good because this car is good. I doubt. Oh, see, even on road, it's not really that good. Yeah, but it's wavy, and I have it on sport. Ew, ew. Yeah, it's rubbish. This is better on dirt. I don't want that. All right. Usually, don't even do this to either. Ow! Oh my! Made it. It is capable. Somehow. What will you give me? I already have that. Alright. Now see, because I ideally love Rally. So a rally supercar will be loads is actually pretty much a brave idea, but it's good. Now the last king of the dirt of the dirt spec was something between the Skyline and the Raptor, I think between them. But I heard that this car is equally as fast and it's for good reason too, considering how much horsepower it has and how light it is. I reckon this car will do wonders of good. Also, the Focus RS, which has been helping me ever so immensely during dirt time trials, during certain summit runs. I don't even know if this summit, this, uh, this um, week has a dirt trial. Well, I hope it does. So I haven't. I think it does. I haven't opened it yet. But I should. But considering how well this is doing, I promise I'll probably get like top spot. Right, let's get dirty if we can. Yeah, see, already one bike. Let's 
see how well he does. I might do Shabby though, but I think I can take that guy. The bike will be tough, but this rough is pretty quick. That's gone as quick as well. I've gone off already! What the heck? Man, you are a wild dog. What the hell? I'd rather just have a focus then. Look at you. There he is, I don't even need to use the shortcut. You're not getting away from me, boy. Oh, for heaven's sake, maybe you are. Oh, he has to subtract me. Run up it again. Come on, come on. Well, the skyline's gone, but he's not. Okay, so maybe bikes. I don't think they're terribly OP, but in this case, sometimes, sometimes it just bends on one, the driver, two, the car. In this case, this car, I only haven't gotten the hang of it yet. Alright, now I'm gonna cheat. I nearly missed that one. This car has too much power going to the real wheels. I hate that one. Where are you going? Y2. Ew. Oh. You have a lot of power in those rear wheels. No wonder you slide off so much. One more lap. Stop it. Control yourself. Now you should best don't you don't cut that because that just puts you even in more danger. That's not funny. You got ahead of me there, but now nah, I'm actually on focus and now I tend to this car as slidey as anything. Ideally good for... oh dear. And I've gone off. Oh, that's not gone well. That's not gone well at all. Yeah, this car's not good for... Hopping. But I can do that. Oh, he missed it. Oh, why do you backtrack like that? What? I didn't even show me how far he was behind me. I'm gonna have to kill the. Close enough, my bikey friend. But no cigar in the end. 
Not terribly. You slide way too much, sir. Okay, I'm back. So far, I just had no luck chasing that one bike down this uh, in this uh, round of uh, dirt racing here. But I have a feeling that if I'm going to take him down, I might have to do something new. So I do apologize in advance. Oh, come on. Oh, this guy is gone. This doesn't help at all! Oh, this bike's done. Oh, no, wait. There it is. This doesn't help at all! The fact that it's rear-wheel drive is just attracting me off course. That's probably why. And the bike is coming again. Only time we're meeting to get distracted by a skyline that has no power! And there it is. Yep, he's gone now. That's just us not being docile enough. But this fact that this thing has rear wheel drive, even with all driving help on, it just slips and turns. So grab this car at your own risk. Ideally, it's faster than the skyline. And ideally, it will put you in a much. Oh, he's not doing that. Fail! Fail! You fail! What the? Ah, he just got and I went the right way and look at him. So, yeah, as I was saying, grab this car at your own risk. It just feels really wavy. It doesn't stick to one position. But I guess that's just my driving to be blame for that. Unless you want to cut the corner. This car's better on the road. On the track. Come on, bikey. I have enough nitrous to spare. Yes! My only win! And thanks to the road now driving him. Just me being noobish. Yeah, dribble up. Let's go. I think I did that wrong. Oh, he's cutting in front. That's where the bike has the advantage. Come on, baby. That's not funny. We're just making this mid speed of the skyline. He's all the way in the back there. Oh, that's not fun. Wow. Is there a bar there? Nope. Yeah, in the clear. And this car, even with all driving up, just wants to get sideways, which just puts a damper on everything else. This is. Oh, I picked a bad track. I picked a bad track. Now the bike is just at the advantage here because now I can. Oh, whoopsie. I've done that wrong. I picked the bad track. It's exciting, but yet. When driving this thing, it just wants to sway back and forth. It doesn't have the grip that the Focus RS has in the rally. Definitely a better dirt machine. I don't want to go up there. Aw, oh, he just left me in the dust, that one. This is a supercar. It's like. Group B rally of this thing. Modern day Group B rally. Very unstable even with all driving help on. Better off with the Focus RS. Ow. Wow, I'm just not even. Yeah, he's done. Okay, 
Okay, that's shoddy driving, shoddy driving, shoddy driving. Oh my goodness. Can I cut through? Yeah, I finished. That was rubbish. Oh! Oh! Alright, so in the end, couldn't only beat the bike one out of the three times, four times that I've raced it, but uh, you could say in dirt they are pretty up there. Well, I wouldn't say really OP, but like at the same time it depends on who's riding the bike and at the same time it depends on who's driving the car. So it's kind of a stress calling them OP if you're not really good at driving. In this car's case, this car is a wild animal on the dirt and it's basically because it's more, this track torque is going more to the rear than to all wheels. Like all the other dirt cars, this car is more of a wheel wood drive based thing more than an all wheel drive based thing as uh, most dirt cars are. But still, definitely fast, just pay attention even with all dri driving help on. Noobish, but yeah. Doesn't really matter what uh, handling mode you're in, this car is pretty much sort of dangerous. Anyway, still love it, I'd keep it. So that's round one. Round two will please take place in the perf spec with a bike to see if they're actually OP or not. So until then, rate, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Hey.